Okay, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install sounds, original sounds from the Yamaha DX7 that you can install in the Core Kronos and I believe the Core Oasis and I believe they're, they're compatible with all Core Kronos. Um, this is a Core Kronos 2. But anyways, um, pretty much what I did was I, I downloaded the sample files and they're not samples but they're the Sci6 files into the USB pretty much what I want to do is um, I'm gonna find a bank an empty bank that we can load these samples in or sounds don't get them confused with samples because they're different um, these are internal uh, programs and uh, okay so anyways I found a, a bank and it has to be the EXI uh, bank um, it can't be your normal UG bank that you normally found in your programs um, so anyways, I, I found an empty bank and it's the DD. Um, we're going to use this one as an example. So, okay, so we got the UDD. Pretty much, you're going to go into your disk. You're going to find, um, let me see. Let me see where I'm at. Okay, okay, I'm going to go up. I'm going to find my files uh, for the... Uh, Yamaha DX7 internal okay so my sound the original sound okay so here are all the ROMs um, for the Yamaha DX7 and as you notice they have uh, 1A, 1B, 2A on uh, the Yamaha DX7s they had 32 sounds per bank so that means you're gonna have you're gonna be able to load four uh, Yamaha DX7 banks into one Core Kronos bank or Core Oasis bank. Um, so pretty much what you can do is you can load them one by one or you can load them multiple. Uh, choose four of them and then load them like that. But in this case, let's load them one by one. We're going to push load on this first one. So ROM in notes it's a Sci6 file. Normally what they use to load uh, Yamaha's um, through MIDI okay so right here I already have the bank UDD so I'm gonna choose 0 to 31 sounds and I'm gonna say it's writing to the internal memory you notice not the RAM memory and I'm gonna do the second one I'm gonna load it but now I'm gonna choose from 32 to 63 and we're gonna be doing that for the next two You're gonna choose you keep choosing the next one and it's it's writing all the, the information of the the Yamaha into the bank. So we're just gonna have to keep choosing the next one, the next numbers over. Okay, and then once that's done, you're gonna go into your program. And now we're in the UDD bank, and there's all the sounds from the original Yamaha DX7s. Um, as you noticed right here, you can all uh, has all the names from the sounds of the Yamaha DX7. Now you can go ahead and play them. And as you notice, they don't have any effects on them, so you're gonna get you know the sounds but it doesn't have no effect so you might have to tweak it a little bit you know just to get that that nice sound that you would get from the original one you know and it just has a bunch a bunch of sounds from the the keyboard so there you go there's all the you know configurations um, all the sounds original sounds from the Yamaha DX7 all the original names from the pre-list and um, and then we you can continue and and you can um, load the rest of the remaining banks in there so if you go here and you're gonna see you still have four but those ones you're gonna have to install in another bank and that's pretty much it. That's how you use the uh, install Yamaha DX7. You can have it installed in your keyboard.
core chronos and um, start using them and you can start separating the sound into another bang to choose whatever you want So there you go. I just uh, wanted to show you a little bit of, on these samples and, um, or not samples, but the original sound files for the Yamaha DX7 um, in the Korg Kronos. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.